Welcome to the Anti-Money Laundering and Counter-Terrorism Financing for Legal Professionals course. This course is designed to provide you with an introduction to potential money laundering and terrorism financing risks that you may face in the normal course of business. After completing this course, you will be able to Explain what the terms money laundering and terrorism financing mean. Explain the history and objectives of money laundering and terrorism financing legislation. Explain different placement, layering and integration techniques used by money launderers. Explain the characteristics of the legal profession which are attractive to money launderers. Explain how money is laundered through the legal profession. Identify red flags of unusual or suspicious behavior specific to the sector and explain mitigating controls that can be put in place to reduce these risks and pass the learning assessment. Smurfing of cash deposits and structuring. Many illegal activities, such as drug dealing, generate large amounts of cash. Storing and spending large amounts of cash could arouse suspicions, and therefore cash is frequently deposited into accounts by criminals and their associates who bring cash into bank branches. Many criminals participate in an activity called smurfing, which involves dividing cash gained through illegal activities and giving the funds to different people the Smurfs, who proceed to make multiple deposits into multiple accounts, often using various aliases at any number of financial institutions. The most commonly known money laundering detection threshold requires cash deposits greater than 10,000 of the local currency to be reported to domestic authorities. Many criminals are aware of this and undertake an activity called structuring, which involves splitting transactions into separate amounts under 10,000 to avoid cash reporting requirements. Reporting entities should be on guard in situations involving frequent deposits of small amounts of money by individual clients or businesses where such activity is unexpected or unusual. Which characteristics of the legal profession are attractive to money launderers? There are a number of services that are performed by legal professionals that are attractive to money launderers, including provision of legal advice. Some criminals may seek advice from lawyers to understand the complexities of anti-money laundering legislation and what behavior and activity is targeted for detection so that they can take alternative actions when setting up and running criminal enterprises to avoid detection. Complex Company Structures Certain structures may serve to confuse or disguise the ownership and control of an entity so as to make it more complex to understand who the ultimate beneficial owner actually is. Performing financial transactions. Sometimes legal services include acting as the custodian for a client's funds and can involve making deposits and withdrawals, buying and selling securities, cashing checks, etc. on a client's behalf which may add another layer between the criminal and the actual transaction activity. Making introductions to financial institutions. A well-respected lawyer could introduce a criminal to a financial institution which provides a veil of legitimacy over the activities of the client, may be accepted by association. In this module, we will cover a number of fictitious case studies based on real-life examples to demonstrate how legal professionals have been used to commit money laundering offences, including use of a lawyer when buying real estate and manipulating property valuations, use of corporate vehicles to commit money laundering offences, including setting up complex company and trust structures, or offshore companies, or shell companies, or property management companies, and finally, use of a lawyer as a third-party custodian.